Hello guys, let's do another practice today on the speed of objects. We will consider three basic types. First, create a new file. I choose the square template from the template library. In the settings, set frames per second to 12 and duration to one. Click draw. Now I collapse the bottom panel into flipbook mode. Here we need to select a bright color and draw a straight line. Close the flipbook mode and long tap the layer. In the menu, select full duration. This is our future path. And now create a new track. Switch to creating tick marks. Select a bright color and draw one line. Now also apply full duration to this layer. And now we need to duplicate this tick mark 11 times, each on a new track. We need 12 because it's the number of frames we chose for one second. To conveniently move the layer across the canvas, you need to switch to default mode by clicking again on the active drawing icon. Now place the tick marks evenly along the entire width of the path. I leave two tick marks on each side of the line to make a pause. This will be the base speed called linear. The idea is that the object moves at a constant speed without acceleration. Switch to timeline edit mode and group all current layers into one group. Great, now duplicate the group and put it on a new track. Place this group slightly lower than the previous one on the canvas and do the same to create the third group. So, let's go to the second path and switch to default mode. Start dragging the tick marks. To control the speed, you need to decrease or increase the distance between the tick marks. Now we are preparing for easy out. The idea is that the movement starts slowly and accelerates at the end. So the tick marks are closer together at first and then as far apart as possible. Excellent. Now prepare the base for the third group. Here will be the speed easy and out. For this, we need to slow down both at the beginning and at the end of the line. In the center, there will be the fastest acceleration. Now let's create a circle. Draw it on a new track. Then switch to default mode and duplicate it. Move the duplicate to the center of the next tick mark. To see neighboring frames, click on the timer and select Show Onion Skin. Well, now repeat this for each tick mark on all frames. Don't forget that there will be two frames in place on each side. Check the preview. Here is a linear animation without acceleration. Now duplicate the circle and move it to a new track. Now repeat the same, placing the circle on the tick marks. Check the preview. So here is an easy out animation with acceleration at the end. And now duplicate the circle onto the third path. Check the preview. Here is an easy and out animation with slowdowns on the sides. So guys, today we did a very simple but incredibly useful practice on timing objects for animation. Let me know if today's video was helpful or interesting. See you.